duty and humanity. I learned from Keith that if you really think you can do something with help and support, you can do it. He had a passion for what he did. If somebody wanted to know how to do something, he showed them. He was always around to help and support people. He was always like ready to help, always did a lot of things for everybody. There was a level of expertise and a level of professionalism that I think everyone appreciated who worked with him. I've done a few uh, collecting trips with him over the years and it was unbelievable how much I learned just in like 10 days of diving with him. I mean, he could convince anybody that they should try diving. You know, just his enthusiasm for everything and his passion for it. It was amazing how many lives he touched here at Shed with all the volunteer divers. And the fact that, you know, he helped some of them with the entry points of either falling in love with the water or he may have met people that were already in love with the water and he just was able to, you know, facilitate different experiences. And I I really think that was one of the greatest contributions. He devoted so much of his time on and off the clock to educating people and to exposing people to things that they would never even know are right in their own backyard. This is a, a regular food bucket that we use to feed the fish every day here in our reef tank. We've got a, quite a selection. Keith taught me probably how to get along with people just a little bit better than I did. He had a very calm, comforting manner and that came from years and years and years of teaching so many people to enjoy the the activity that he really liked we went on a lot of adventures we went on go-kart rides trapeze class spelunking which is like this crazy underground caving in mud, in the pitch dark. Kayaking, skydiving, the bicycle zip lining in the Philippines, hang gliding, all those different things. We had so much fun doing that. Keith always had a sense of adventure and was game to do whatever we came up with. He made everything fun all the time. Uh, always an emphasis on safety, of course, but yes, yeah, still very fun. Just managed to make everything really memorable and special, so he was a blast to work with all the time. We had a great appreciation of all the fish that were swimming and you know, lobsters and corals and encouraged us all to mind them with respect and care. He was as passionate about collecting information as he was about giving it and I remember fondly all the articles that we would fly back and forth between the two of us uh, just sharing information and can you believe this and they just found out that. He was a giver and receiver of information, so passionate about it. He'd be sitting around and we'd be having breakfast or something like that and then he'd cut in with a remark that was just out of left field but perfect um, and a very nice biting sarcastic sense of humor as well uh, but never misplaced. <laughs> I think Keith's main contribution was facilitating the love for the underwater world and diving. He always thought about the environment. Well, I think as a diver, uh, I just couldn't keep track of all the interests that Keith had in the various surveys that he was involved with and the things that he would just do on his own, just in the interest of diving. Well, we have this whole network of people here at Shed that are diving because of Keith, and he really grew that network from nowhere. He gave so much to everybody. He made it his life. Everyone that he touched, I think, was a better person and, and appreciated what he did for the underwater world, but then also I think it allowed them to appreciate the underwater world more. He's definitely made a mark, not just in the Midwest or in the state of Illinois, in the United States, but there's, there's global reach as well. He was very proactive and he would come to me often about, you know, how can we make the boat more sustainable? How can we reduce the environmental impact that the boat has on the reefs that we were diving? I always appreciated that he was a good partner to uh, try to push some of those initiatives through. I would describe Keith as friendly. An unbelievable friend. A superhero. Humble. Calm. Caring. 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 He was kind. Kind. Funny. Fun. And an adventurer. Thoughtful. Educator. Professional. Generous. Compassionate. Compassionate. And very compassionate. And loved. One of a kind. That's wild. Now, what will you be doing for us today?
today. Well, today I'm going to go down and feed the fish for you, and I'll be talking to you while I feed the fish. Uh, I'll be using this mask here. There's a microphone inside of it. Keith deserves to have the Middle Coast Award because it would be hard to think of the Middle Coast without thinking of Keith. I would say that Keith is a perfect candidate for this award because he has impacted so many people, both at SHED and through SHED. I actually think Keith probably deserves every award <laughs> in the book out there. Keith was just so committed. He was so committed to the dive industry. He gave so much to this area, to this region, to the people who live here, uh, probably educating thousands of people throughout his life about the marine and freshwater environments. And so it's obvious as a choice why he deserves this award. I love you, I miss you, and Next dive trip's not going to be the same. I love him. I love you. I miss you. The world will miss you. And there will never be another you. Dawn is coming, open your eyes.